The key issue for the UK in general is how do we create an environment where the level of GDP per capita is, is growing. The financial sector is, is, a, is a major contributor directly itself to overall GDP, but probably more significant is the effect it has on allowing other sectors of the economy, both households and companies, to operate uh, effectively. I think an immediate issue for the UK government is the way in which the UK likely leaves the European Union will affect the financial sector. It's easy, I think, to exaggerate the impact on the wider UK economy of UK financial firms perhaps not having complete access to the single market. And some people would have you believe, I think, that if that happens, the financial services sector in the UK will be hit extremely hard. I'm somewhat skeptical. There's about 1.3 million people work in the financial sector. But most of those people actually are working in banks and pension funds and insurance companies, providing financial services to households and also to companies here in the UK. Exports are a fairly significant contribution, but the exports to the EU are only a a fraction of that overall level of exports, just under 1.5% of GDP. So the idea that this somehow will be the beginning of the UK descending into a black hole of poverty is frankly ludicrous. The decision of how you trade off costs and benefits, I think, is largely a political decision. It depends rather sensitively on one's attitude to free movement of people. I don't think economists have a definitive answer to that question. I think what economists can do is try to um, evaluate, estimate, the economic costs of various trade-offs. My own view is that the cost to the UK of the financial services sector having less than complete access to the single market are actually rather limited.